Hey everybody, Jason here. Been a long time since I've done anything on the channel, but uh, I got a special box in the mail today from uh, Eric over at Bloat Games. So I figured I would do a quick little uh, unboxing for everybody. Because uh, that's what I tend to do on this channel. Again, haven't had any videos for a while, so... Figure we'll get one in. Um, I know what is in this box. This was a, a Kickstarter <clears throat> that I was part of a while back. And uh, it just arrived today. Nicely packed. Nice card. I like that. Ah. Uh -huh. Hmm. So, uh, I, like a lot of people, uh, went and got the boxed set for Vigilante City rather than just the core book. Uh, there was a there was a, a core book, and there's a GM's guide, but uh, I went with the. Uh, the box set because I'm a sucker for box sets. It's old school. Good look at some of all that art there. <laughs> That's a heavy box too. It's very heavy. I think it's uh packed with all kinds of goodies. So this is not going to be a review, uh, just a, uh, a quick look at what's inside the box here. So, huh. Clever. I like it. Uh, a rune hammer. Uh, Brandish Gilham did the uh, art, and as usual, this guy is top-notch. I mean, this guy's fantastic, so not a surprise there. Oh my. Set of dice. Those are nice. I mean, uh, Chessex obviously always has good dice, but those are very, very nice looking dice. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at this. Sorry, I'm doing my unboxing in the basement because the uh, cats are running around upstairs like they're insane, which they are. And uh, nice, nice shirt. Vigilante City logo. Uh, let's see. Sorry for the uh, shaky cam there. Nothing on the back. But uh, the logo there is fantastic. That's a really, really nice shirt. I'll be uh, very happy to sport this at work and with my gaming group and let everybody be jealous. Let's see. Oh. Just a little art piece there. Very reminiscent of uh, Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles. Very nice. Couple, I, these feel like stickers. I believe that's what they are. They feel like stickers. These are, are the uh, covers of the two books, the two uh, main books. The uh, the core rules and the uh, villain's guide or the GM's guide. Those are the. Uh, normal covers uh, the box set has there's an, another sticker here for uh, Vigilante City pretty awesome the uh, 
I'll leave these aside so you can see. Here's the uh, the core rules and the villain's guide. See, now these are red variant covers, and uh, those two colors are the originals. But uh, beautiful books. There's the spine and the back cover. It's got the, uh, oh, if I could put it the right way, the Xeroxable character sheet, which is pretty sweet. Yes, I said Xerox. I'm old. And there's a, a map. And, uh, Here's uh, there's the inside of the box. Nice black inside there. I'm not sure what this is. Let's see. Oh, it's a coloring book with art by Runehammer. Uh, so these must be some of the uh, characters that he drew for the book. Awesome. That guy right there should look familiar to me. <laughs> and, uh, wow. I probably will not be coloring this because I'm weird. And I want things to be left how they are originally. That guy should also look kind of familiar for me. <laughs> It's very awesome to see things that you've created um, with in writing have art put to it. Let's see. That guy should also look familiar to me. Fantastic little book there. That's really awesome. I like that a lot. That's really freaking cool. But uh, so yeah, take a quick flip through some of the, the book here. Lots and lots of uh, tables and charts and powers and abilities and uh, a bunch of uh, mutant powers there. The mercenary, the detective. Yeah, this is really cool, man. This is really, really cool. Yeah. There's me right there. Jason Mabry. Um, so I've looked through this book. Um, I've had a PDF of these for a while. Um, but I've been holding off looking through this because I wanted to look through the book first rather than the PDF. I've had the PDF of these for a long time. That's a fantastic book. Uh, so this right here is going to be all new to me because I didn't want to look through, the, like I said, I didn't want to look through the PDF. I wanted to have it kind of uh, new and fresh, you know, to experience it as a book rather than just a PDF. So uh, anyway, quick little unboxing and hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed. And uh, thanks to Eric and crew over at Bloat Games for releasing such a cool thing. You know, anybody could make just, you know, a book. Uh, to release, but to go the extra mile and do a box set with, you know, both books, some stickers, and a coloring book, which is really freaking cool, and a little piece of bonus pinup art there, and a set of dice to play the game with, and an awesome t-shirt. You know, that's just, that's phenomenal. Eric's a really good dude. Um... I've talked with him a number of times about a few different things, and Eric's just a really, really good dude. Um, I, I really highly suggest everybody check out his stuff. Um, yeah, Bloat Games, man. They are on top of it with the, in the OSR movement, uh, bringing in different genres, you know, vigilantes, superheroes, um, some zombie, zombie stuff, and um, Dark Places and Demogorgons is uh, a really, really, really cool book also, so I, I suggest everybody take a look at that too. But yeah, uh, congrats to, to, to Bloat Games for uh, another top-notch product. These, this stuff just gets better and better with each release that they do, so 
I'm really happy for Eric and, and crew over there. So congrats, guys, and thanks for the awesome box. Uh, awesome everything. The quality is just fantastic. These books are super heavy. Very, very thick, heavy, good stuff. So anyway, guys, that was a uh, unboxing for Vigilante City. So we'll see you.